Over the last six years, Austin Shipyard has become the fifth largest in the country and the largest aluminum shipbuilder in the world. And today, more high-speed vessels, uh, one more high-speed high vessel is ready to serve the U.S. Navy because of uh, christening this morning. The U.S. Navy ship Trenton, like four other ships before it was christened today. The ceremony held at Austin Shipyard early this morning is the fifth time Mobile has seen the christening of one of these U.S. Navy high-speed vessels. Despite the cold temperatures, local and state lawmakers gathered for the ceremony on the Mobile River. There's a lot of pride in what we're doing. We, we really understand the impact that we're having on the Navy's fleet here, uh, again, right here in Mobile, Alabama. The USS Trenton, named in honor of the city of Trenton, New Jersey, also comes with a history-making lady captain at the house. I was the second woman officer uh, with military seal of command. And I am trying to do all I can to bring as many women up with me because I don't want to be unique. I don't want to be special. I want it to be a given. Austell is currently under contract to build 10 joint high-speed vessels for the Navy's military sea lift command. To get these going on a routine basis right now is really a testament to the hard work that the, the employees here have. And every ship we do gets better and better. You, you keep learning as you go. The construction of these state-of-the-art combat-ready aluminum ships known as high-speed littoral combat ships, helps employ more than 4,000 people in the port city. Well, these high-speed vessels are one of our newest types of ships. They can move enormous amounts of marines and equipment uh, across large distances very, very fast. USS Trenton is designed to transport as many as 600 tons of cargo at an average speed of 35 knots. The ship will serve as a non-combat vessel with a crew of 22 men and women. 